Good morning. Thought it'd be fun to do a little uh, day in the life of Jake Stoutland as a newly minted 29-year-old. Just woke up. Looks like my dog is uh, coming down to greet me. Oh, Jesus. Just wrapped up a quick Peloton to uh, wake myself up and get the blood flowing. About to crush another water here. We're gonna get a little coffee and get our day started. This morning we have a 9.30 coffee with a broker who has a deal that I, I like a lot. Pricing is just not where I need it to be right now, so checking in with him. And then at noon I have lunch with a classmate of mine who I did my MBA with. And then at two o'clock I have a call with somebody who does a lot of really good YouTube work, so. Really excited about that call. And this morning I want to jot down a few notes also before my coffee for that call. Get my head straight. Excited to take you guys along. Let's get to it. Waiting for the coffee to get warm. So, just a few thoughts on the day. Kind of what I want to accomplish. Kind of, uh, this. normally I sit at my desk and write a little note. This morning I'm going to talk to the camera. So, could be a new fun way to do this. Mainly at this 9, 9 o'clock coffee I want to find out where the broker is with this deal. I know the area really well. I think long term it's a great asset, but short term it's going to be a bit turbulent. There's a ton of supply coming online and that worries me and that's impacting the price I can pay for the property. From the seller's perspective they think it shouldn't, which that is fair. They've built a great asset. This is a really nice property. So trying to figure out where that strike price is and then really just figure out what else he's working on. It's the beginning of 2024, people are excited. 2023 was not a good year for commercial real estate brokerage specifically. So I'm sure he wants to transact. So, you know, figure out kind of what, what's in his pipeline, what he's looking at, what he's working on, and how I can kind of get in front of some stuff before it gets out to the masses. All right, we just knocked out a couple things this morning, wrote some notes for that call later today. I created a YouTube short on uh, Steve Schwartzman, some lessons on his talk from Stanford, and now it is time to take my dog for a walk. Zeus, Nakua? Nakua. We're on the road, a little drive to a place called La Colombe in Fishtown, Philadelphia. Here in Center City, we got a little bit of traffic this morning, but we got a beautiful morning, four degrees Celsius, which is 40 degrees Fahrenheit, and it is End of January. Not too bad. Just wrapped up a little coffee. Got some good intel. It's a good guy. It's just nice when you feel like you're both you're both rooting for each other. You're both trying to get to the same place. I am a big believer of being top of mind. Whether that's in-person meetings, whether that's a phone call, whether that's through social media. The more you are top of mind on people, the more opportunity that comes across your plate. And in real estate, we all know it's an inefficient market. Sometimes things just happen because you're in the right place at the right time. Best way to be in the right place at the right time is be top of mind. We're gonna drive back. I'm gonna stop by a property that we just spoke about and look at it and then back to the desk and uh, get a little work done. This is 2nd Street here in Northern Liberties. I used to live here, I guess four years ago, 2020. It's crazy to say, it doesn't feel like four years ago. This. To the right, all this yellow, this was nothing. This was like a dilapidated industrial building. Same with this next blue area. I mean, there is so much development here. And then where this building here at the end of the road is going in, that was uh, City Fitness, that was a gym. So there is so much new supply here. It's gonna be interesting to see how it absorbs. That's why I like Philly, but you're not gonna get the huge bumps. Well, or they don't care about the return. They just care about paying less on a monthly basis. They're out there, you just gotta look hard. Got a little work done in between coffee. I'm headed out of the city to grab lunch. So hopefully there's not too much traffic, but we shall see. Just pulled up here at a little place in uh, Villanova, PA. We'll touch base after the lunch. Just finished up a little lunch. Man, again, good people. It is just nice to be around good people, do business with people you like. Feeling excited, feeling energized, and that's always the feeling you want to get after spending time with somebody. Hi, it's Jake Stoutland. Usually the best way to figure out who knows what they're doing is just watch content. When it comes to researching or going to create a short, 
348 just wrapped up uh, my call from 3 to 330 another very good call grateful to have people that are willing to share their expertise with me so got a new strategy for YouTube pretty much I'm gonna do the things I love that give me energy and that's gonna shine through in the videos and that's what we're doing right now no just kidding I don't have that much energy about this you know it's four o'clock I'm going to wrap up a few more things but just wanted to share a few kind of thoughts from today. Price improvement, still, we're in 2024 and those are still words that are being spoken. I remember when that started in late 2022 and people were laughing, ah, oh, this is hilarious. Well, it's still here. There are price improvements and for those who don't know what price improvement means, they're cutting the price. It's just, you know, fancy way of saying like, we overpriced the listing and now we're slashing the price. When I see a price improvement, I say maybe there's a seller that has more of an incentive to sell than maybe somebody else because there's certainly listings that I've seen that have been up for years and they stay at the same price. That's just a, I don't understand that at all. That's how I'm feeling. I met with three people today, three really good people, three people that took time out of their day to talk with me, exchange ideas. When you surround yourself with great people and you have people that are all cheering for you, life is just better. And I would urge everybody, find those people. The world can be yours. You just need to go take advantage of it. And I find that the more I have a target of where I'm going with actual tasks on the road to that target, the more efficient and the better of a professional I am. Find that target and create those checkpoints to get there. That's my advice for today. 621, just finished up analyzing a few deals. And I think it's about time I call it a night with the work.